Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am going to bring you a case study of fuel pump current hump waveform analysis. In this video, I am going to talk about does the fuel pump current hump waveform analysis reveal the real cause of a fuel pump failure. This waveform is a recently diagnosed fuel pump current hump waveform. With the first impression of this waveform make you sense that this is a bad fuel pump. You are seeing that diagnosing video in the screen. It was my recent video of PO171 on a Suzuki Wagon R. As you are seeing in the side video, it was low fuel pressure and current hump waveform also simply revealed that this is a bad fuel pump. This current hump waveform analysis was really helpful for accurate diagnosis. Change the fuel pump and this car was fixed. But I was curious that does this waveform reveal the real cause of failure of this fuel pump? Actually, it was a premature failure on this car around the 60,000 km in the odometer. This inconsistent current hump tell us worn out fuel pump. It could be bad armature winding or bad commutator segments or bad brushes. However, let's look into closer this waveform and reanalyze to make it sense. Okay, I will put a horizontal ruler and measure the amps. You can see average amp draw is 0.9 amps around which is very very low. Let's measure the peak amps. It's around 1.1 amps. Low amp draw mean it is not taking the load and pressurize the fuel into the rail. You know this should be over 3 amps on a good working pump. Ok, let's analyze individual hump by putting rulers between 8 humps that represent 8 commutator segments. In this case, H-scope measurement tools support tremendously. I am using here firing order marking tool which goes perfectly to select 8 humps. Here you can see it shows delta time and RPM too. 3600 RPM is too low for good working fuel pump. I just put numbers on the humps to make it easier to identify. Same times you are seeing the commutator segments in the site which is belong to this waveform. You can see clearly 8 humps in the waveform and 8 segments on the commutator. You can see these 4 humps are looking much better than other 4 humps in the red circles. What it indicate? Something wrong in the armature. But it couldn't be worn brushes because if it is due to worn brushes should draw low amps. But not possible inconsistent humps. Could it be worn commutator segments or armature windings? Ok, I will explain little bit further more. You know, even there are 8 segments, it has only 4 windings in the armature. I will draw lines to indicate those 4 windings here. A winding has connected between 2 segments, one to other segment after 180 degrees. So here number 1 humps and number 5 humps represent a 1 winding. Number 2 and number 6 is another winding. So on you can see 4 windings. Now you can see number 3 and number 4 windings of green and violet lines have always low humps. That is indicate 2 bad windings or 2 bad commutator segments, isn't it? Because each winding terminals connected into each commutator segments. So, if we analyze this waveform longer and longer, it will direct us to accept that any case of armature failed the fuel pump and gave us this waveform pattern. Hope you guys agree with me. That is how we believe all the time when we see this type of fuel pump current hump waveform pattern. In most YouTube videos and experts are also called same way. But I would like to see it physically on the fuel pump. Ok, I am going to open the specific fuel pump related to this waveform. This is the specific fuel pump which I have opened it already. I will show you the its anatomy first. 
This is the bottom fuel intake lid which is connected the pouch filter. This is the blade wheel which is spinning and pressurize the fuel toward the injector rail. This is the inner lid which hold the armature rod and this is the armature. Inside the housing you can see the brushers assembly. Also two permanent magnets stick on the inner housing wall. First of all let's check the armature and commutator segments. Look here. No any evidence of extraordinary wear of the commutator segments. Really no any visual evidence of worn out commutator segments. Now I am going to measure the 180 degrees resistance test to check the armature windings are shorted or open which can cause to bad current humps. All four windings have almost same resistance value which indicate good armature. Also I check that it is not shorted to armature body too. Anyway when I inspect around the armature body I saw a weird corrosion mark on it. Look here do you see this corrosion mark? It is just around the nearby two windings and its shapes look like the permanent magnet in the motor housing. Also it look like this side of the armature stick or rub the magnet when spin. This could be the issue of showing us two nearby bad windings in the current hump waveform. Let's check the brushes also how it looks like. Do you see lot of corrosion inside? Maybe contamination of water in fuel could cause to this situation. Anyway, look at the brushes. Seems no extraordinary wear. I guess it is longer than half inch that no evidence of bad brushes. I just check the tension of spring loaded brushes which indicate good tension. Definitely this can't be a problem related to the brushes. Let's check the other parts. This is the inner lid that hold the armature rod and the blade wheel. Do you see this extraordinary play between the rod and bush? This is not good. This could cause to rub or stick the armature into the permanent magnet. So this condition proof that what we saw earlier on the armature body. Permanent magnet shape corrosion mark. Do you see that extraordinary wear in this side of the bush? It has become oval in the bush. It is clear now that partially worn bush drive the armature stick on the permanent magnet. Then one side of the armature body always touch the magnet when spin. Then two windings of that side always draw low amps. Do you see that there is very tiny space between the armature and the permanent magnets. That inner lid bush align the armature and spin perfectly. Definitely this abnormal play caused to fail the fuel pump. All the evidence are here. But what can cause for this premature abnormal mechanical wear of the bush? Definitely excessive heat could drive to this kind of phenomenon. This is an another failed fuel pump. Look at that it has same kind of abnormal play of the armature rod. When drive with very low fuel storage in the tank 
could cause to generate excessive heat and make rapid wear of the fuel pump mechanical parts. Also sediments enter to the pump due to bad pouch filter could cause for this kind of abnormal wear. Otherwise factory fitted OE fuel pumps work long last. So it is clear now that this kind of fuel pump current hump waveform not always shows worn or bad electrical components such as armature windings, commutator segment or brushes problem. But this waveform always help us to count the RPM and amps draw amounts to take the diagnose decisions. That is important. We have seen factory fitted OE fuel pump work long mileage if they are not get excessive heat. Fuel cool the pump itself always and keep it steady. In this case, hope it is clear for you that worn out bush drive the armature stick into magnet. Then that sticking side windings draw extremely low amps and drive the pump into low fuel pressure. Always make sure use clean fuel and there is at least quarter of tank filled with fuel that can cool your fuel pump. Top up it before get into the quarter. Thank you for watching.